Good morning and welcome to Fort Zeller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lynn, and I hope that you had a wonderful Thursday yesterday. Today is Friday, June 3rd, 2022, and it is a day three. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to, partic to participate in the Mindful Minute. It's a good way to slow down, you know, to just notice what's around you, to savor it. Yesterday, in the morning announcements, you guys saw me kind of, you know, do the morning announcements in the dark. It's a you know, a different time of day. It's it's a way for me to notice new things because it's dark, you know, the time's different than the day and things like that. And yet now here I am back in my office, you know, uh, during the day, as you can see. And you know what? It's a very familiar place. And yet I have a feeling that if I'm really paying attention, I'm going to find something that's been here all along. And I, if I do it right, I can be really observant about it and just really be interested in it. Okay, so I am going to use my eyes. I want to invite you to to find something that catches your attention, your sight, and just look at it. Study the shapes and the colors and the reflections, uh, the materials that it's made of, how far away it might be from you, and um, you know what what it's meant to be used for. All right, then with your nose, breathe in. And out. What do you notice with your sense of smell? And what, you know, what does it bring up in you? You know, does it bring up any particular uh, memories, perhaps uh, some some thoughts, uh, maybe that you that might be evoked with that sense of smell? And then with your ears, just pause and listen. What do you hear? It's amazing that so many of these sounds exist and they've been happening all along, but you just kind of tuned it out. But there it is, still ticking away, humming away, whatever it is. And then finally, with your skin, what do you feel with your sense of touch? Whether it's the air or the clothing that touches your skin, what do you notice? All right, let's move to our breathing technique for today. And with our breathing technique today, I'm gonna to use a hot cocoa method. Uh, it's a little bit rainy right now. Things are getting cooler. Still warm because we are headed towards the summer, but just because it's, you know, the temperature has gotten a little bit cooler, I'm going to think about the coziness of warmth. And I'm gonna use the hot cocoa method. You can use whatever breathing technique works for you, but let's go ahead and get our body settled. Notice, notice the chair holding you up. And then go ahead, I like to close my eyes, but you don't have to. Go ahead and take that first breath in. Fill your belly full of air and then slowly let it out. Let your shoulders relax. Allow yourself to just center. Go ahead and breathe in again. This time a little bit slower. And then slowly as you let it out, arrive in this moment. Now, as you breathe in, just think about what your mind is thinking about. And if it is thinking about anything else other than what is going on at this moment, breathe out. Just let it be. Bring it in. Bring your attention back to the here and the now. Go ahead and breathe in. Go ahead and breathe out. And then now turn your attention towards your body what is inside, right? Go ahead and breathe in. Notice the parts of your body that feel refreshed and ready to go. Notice the parts of your body that may feel sore, maybe even tired, guys. That's a sensation that we feel. And then think about what those different feelings and emotions have created in you, right? What sensations does it create? Breathe in and breathe out. And then finally, go deeper and notice what emotions and feelings you've brought to school today are. Breathe in. And sometimes those feelings are begging for you to just acknowledge it. Breathe out. Sometimes those feelings are pleasant. Breathe in. But then sometimes those same feelings or other feelings within you are unpleasant. Breathe out. Whatever it is, just simply observe the sensations those feelings create. Breathe in. Tug your attention back to this moment. Breathe out. And in due time, things will move on.
In a moment, you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not, well, that's your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You could go ahead and take a seat. I want to thank you for joining me in the Mindful Minute. It's a good way to, you know, notice yourself, to dig da down and deep and notice the sensations that you feel, whether it's just uh, an ache or an itch or some soreness in your body, or even to notice what feelings you've had. You know, my mind at the end of the year is just going a million miles a minute, right? Sometimes I don't have the chance, even if I want to, to just stop and notice. And so these recordings where I get to, you know, just be present with you is an opportunity for me to practice. And I hope that you guys are joining me too. Now, we have three expectations here at the school. Number one, show that you're respectful to yourself as well as to others. So give people uh, your attention, uh, to to listen to them, to, to watch them as they might have something to demonstrate to you. And then once it's your turn to talk and express yourself, it's important that other people give you that same love, that same attention. And speaking of that love, love yourself. Give yourself that respect as well. And no matter whether people are seeing you do the right thing or not, ultimately, when you have the choice, I hope that you choose to do the right thing, the respectful thing, the heroic way of uh, making a decision. And at the end of the day, when you think about yourself and what you've done for the day, hopefully you're proud of yourself. And when you're proud of yourself, then you know for sure that you've been respectful to yourself as well. Now, moving on, let's talk about being responsible. That, that sense of being responsible uh, takes many forms. A, you know, it could be just keeping to what you said, right? Being a man or a woman of your words, you know, keeping your promises. But then you also want to make sure that you practice that self-control with your hands and your feet and the words that come out of your mouth. You want to use them in ways a hero would use them. You know, while our parts of our bodies can be hurtful uh, or not helpful, what we want to do is allow our hands and our feet the words that come out of our mouth to be helpful so that we can be heroes in other people's stories today. And last but not least, show that you are ready, ready to learn, ready to, you know, um, you know, tackle the day, ready to fail, you know, and when you fail to learn lessons from it so that you can dust yourself off and try again. And eventually with patience, you'll get there. And speaking of patience, that was the character trait of last month in May. But, you know, we only have a few days left in June. So we're going to continue to talk about patience and the power of waiting, right? Uh, summer is looming. We are excited. Many of us are. And yet we have to wait. And I hope that you join me in waiting. And while you're waiting, just noticing this moment, allow yourself to be here, uh, to notice what you, know, what you see, what you hear, what you feel feel what you smell and to really truly breathe to just you know maximize the amazingness of this one moment hope you'll do that but last but not least part of this moment is you and i'm in your life other people are in your life and i hope that you go around and you tell people what i believe truly is that i want to thank you and i want to um, say I love you just the way you are. And I hope that you'll go find other people and thank them for being part of your story, to, to, uh, for, for them to be a part of your life, and then tell them too that you like them just the way they are. All right? So I can't wait to see you guys around. Have an amazing Friday.